Assalamualaikum and hi to everybody. I hope all of you are eager to learn our new chapter. This chapter discusses about materials and its mechanical properties. Ours today is chapter 11 called Deformation of Solid. Before we go further, let us take a look at students' learning outcome. We will discuss subtopic 11.1, Stress and Strain. In this subtopic, we have three things to be discussed and three things to be accomplished by students. One, students should be able to distinguish between stress and strain for tensile and compressive force. Two, students should be able to discuss graph of stress strain for metal under tension. And number three, Students should be able to discuss elastic and plastic deformation. Many of you must wonder what is deformation of solid. Actually, it happens in our daily life. By definition, solid deformation occurs when solid object undergoes changes of its size or shape caused by the force exerted on it. Let's let us take a look at some example of solid deformation in our daily life. 1. The change of length of a spring when it is continuously compressed and released. 2. The stretch of a rubber band. 3. The car's shape is crushed during collision. And number 4. A can coke is being crushed. We will now begin our discussion on subtopic 11.1a. To distinguish between stress and strain for tensile and compressive force. What is tensile and compressive force? We have many types of solid deformation as shown in these pictures. Let your focus attach to the first two pictures which is tension and compression. As you can see, tensional force is when the object is being stretched, while compressive force is when the object is being compressed. Therefore, tensile force is solid under tensional stress, and compressive force is solid under compression stress. Stress, symbolized as sigma, is the force acting by unit cross-sectional area. As seen on this picture, a pair of tensional force is acting upon a cross-sectional area of a wire. In mathematical form, it is expressed as force over cross-sectional area or F over A0. Strain, symbolized as epsilon, on the other hand, is defined as extension by unit length. As seen in this picture, in response to the tensional force, the wire experiences elongation of delta L. Strain expressed in mathematical form is a ratio of, of elongation over original length or delta L over L0. Since we now know what are stress and strain, let us now look at the physical properties of stress and strain. Properties of stress are Stress is a scalar quantity. Its SI unit is Newton per meter squared. And the other unit for stress is Pascal. The properties of strain are Strain is a scalar quantity and it has a dimensionless or it has no unit.